nobody, nobody specified that. Happy We just wanted to send our wishes um, for a happy 60th birthday, Aunt Tracy. We wish we could be there celebrating with you. Uh, Derek and I and our little peanut. <laughs> uh, can't wait to see you guys. Um, hopefully we see you before peanut emerges. Happy, happy birthday. Can't wait for a fun 2021 coming up. Love you all lots. Bye. Ciao, Bella. Happy birthday. Laugh. Push her on the train. Get on the train. She was luggage surfing. <laughs> Singing O Canada on the beach. Hiking, hiking with Dad smiling. in Puerto Venera in the castle in the church. The mm. popsicles at the top. <laughs> Always happy. Oh yeah, the hike at the popsicles. <laughs> Up for anything. The smiles. Wishing you a happy, 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 happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Every once in a while you meet someone and right away you know that there's a real connection. When I met you I thought, yep, yeah, you're going to be my friend. And I knew that because you are warm and you're personable and you're funny and you're up for any adventure and any challenge that comes your way. Not at all like your sister, am I right? I'm kidding. Of course you're like your sister. And I just want to wish you the happiest a birthdays and all I wish is that for one day we can enjoy another adventure together. Tracy happy birthday. Happy birthday and Tracy hopefully you're having a great day hopefully the 60th is as good as the 59 before. Uh, can't wait to see you guys soon. Miss you. Love you. <laughs> With the D R E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Take twenty five. <laughs> Happy birthday, Tracy. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tracy. Happy birthday to you. Thanks, Marty. It's really just take five. <laughs> Who's counting? Greetings from Canada. Happy birthday, Tracy. So as we celebrate this day with you, we thought that we would step on to that path that they call Memory Lane. And with that, remember when Tracy always had a change of clothes, either in the mailbox at the end of Stuart's laneway or in her backpack. She always exited her house in the attire that Judy approved of, only to change into her style before classes commenced for the day. Starting her day with her hair pulled back, she promptly let it down as soon as she was out of her mother's sight. As cheerleaders, we froze our rumps off on those football fields, but go Griffins, go! And we held, or maybe propped, each other up in those lineups to enter those high school dances. A typical night out on the town began at Mother's Pizza Parlor, afterwards heading to the Backtrack 401 Cave or the Miss Diana, finishing the evening at the sub shop on George Street to enjoy roast beef subs with mustard. In grade 13, Tracy often did out-of-class research on Friday afternoons. She exited classes, headed up the river road, especially on those hot, warm days. So no doubt, no doubt, Judy had agreed to forge signatures on those notes. Detention hall was a real thing, but we're just not gonna focus on that right now. Tracy always asked her grandma to make her new clothes. She was styling. From what I hear nowadays, I think the roles have come full circle. With her now making clothing for her grandkids, Grandma McLennan would be proud. We're not sure how the dent got on Judy's fender of her car when Tracy happened to have borrowed it. Who puts cement pillars in parking garages anyways? 
Tracy held down a job at the De La Fosse Library throughout high school. She was and still is an avid reader. Remember the stagats, the wagon rides, the days at the river, and the days at Jordison's Cottage. Remember the three of us in the paddle boat at midnight, one person steering and two people paddling? Here's to the summer of her learning how to salon ski. She was a pro by the end of the summer, but made many circles around the bay at Shandos with her one foot up in the air, afraid to put her foot back into the harness. Tracy was a beauty. She was stunning and she still is. She won the Irish Club's beauty contest to be this area's pick for the Rosa Tralee. That was a really memorable night. She went on to represent the region at the highest level in Ireland. Tracy's move to her new job in Toronto came with some interesting adjustments. Who knew pillowcases had dual functions? Covering pillows and drying dishes. Sitting on the garbage can resulted in stitches. She went on a cruise, which we called the Love Boat, and she came home with a new love in her life. For our 50th birthdays, Tracy treated us to some time in the Big Apple. These country bumpkins had a blast. We would like to end this by sending best wishes and virtual hugs to you, Tracy, on your 60th birthday. Since we've gotten there ahead of you, we just wanted to end with some advice. Once you hit 60, you now have the right to put yourself first. Enjoy your day. Be well, stay well, enjoy the road ahead. It's our absolute honor to travel this road with you. We love you, we miss you. We can't wait till COVID disappears and we can see you again. Happy birthday, Tracy. Happy birthday, Aunt Tracy. Nash and I just wanted to wish you the very best day. And we hope that Rick is spoiling you and you get to spend it with your beautiful family. We really miss you. I'm so sorry we couldn't see you this summer, but hopefully next summer you can come to the cottage for a couple weeks because we're going to be up there and you can meet this little guy and we can spend some time together. Well, we miss you tons and we hope you're doing well and hopefully we'll chat soon. Take care and happy birthday, Trace. Bye. Hi everybody. Todd and I are just hanging out on a Friday night, playing a little game. And we thought we would include you in the game process. So Todd, tell me, answering the following questions, who was the very first person at our brand new cottage in our lovely bedroom to have a first puke. You mean the one that was on the ceiling, walls, floor, and bed? Exactly. Obviously, Tracy. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. And who is the very best snuggler? Oh. You mean smuggler? Yes, I mean <laughs> smuggler of pesticides, alcohol, and various American treats. Well, it's one of three people I know, but I will go with Tracy. Correct. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. And who is your very favorite sister-in-law who happens to live in Bucks County? Bucks County? Where's that? Pennsylvania? Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> it's obviously Tracy. Tracy, message from Canada. Wishing you a very, very happy birthday. Glad you're spending it with your family. Um, we miss you all terribly and can't wait for this stupid thing to get over and we can all celebrate together as a total family. Exactly. I can't believe I'm missing my sister's 60th birthday. I'm so sad, but I'm so happy for you guys to all be together. We miss you so much. We need those borders open. Get those goddamn borders open. Anyway, have an amazing night. Have an amazing birthday on Wednesday. I'll be chatting with you. I love you so much. I can't do my life without you. And I just wish you the happiest of birthdays. Bye everybody. Happy birthday, Tracy. Happy birthday, Trace. We love you and we wish we were with you on the 29th or 30th, which one? 31st, I think. No, September doesn't have 31st day. Oh, well, 30th. Happy birthday. <laughs> we know you're 60. Why aren't we just there? Yeah, COVID did it again. We love you. We miss you terribly. Hey, Trace, I can't believe you're 60 years of age. 
Mind you, I should know that because I've, I'm 83, 82, and uh, there's a lot of, and I know you're about 22, or I was 22 when you were born. And I miss you very much, and I'll tell you something, if I could have been down there, or we could have been down there, we'd have damn well been. And uh, this has been the longest section that I can believe that I didn't get to, uh, to see you and be with you and with your family and so on and so forth. And we've, it's wonderful to be involved with the family up here, but we need you to be part of it. So from old dad, uh, as Not I said to the kids up here, by golly, there better be some babies and some marriages in the next little while before I die. So anyways, my dear. I mean that very sincerely that I do love you and uh, I hope we you miss have you. the happiest birthday ever and I hope you live to be a long, lot of years Yeah, you're from just now. a young 60-year-old. Take care, dear. Yeah. I love you very love much. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I'm just watching my favorite show here, and I was taking some of this new CBD oil stuff, and I was melting into the couch. So tired. Anyways, we were up here in Canada just thinking about, you know, how rough COVID's been, and one of our favorite times of the year is obviously coming down to America for Thanksgiving, and because that's not going to happen this year, you know, we're pretty much wear camel at all times looking for that big Thanksgiving bird. We also heard it was your birthday though, Tracy, so we wanted to get the whole family together to wish you a big Canadian happy birthday. And you are the most selfless woman that we know, and we hope it's all about you on your 60th birthday. We love you. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday, Tracy. Happy birthday, Tracy. Here comes the 21 gun salute. One, two, three, shoot. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Tracy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Aunt Tracy. Hope you're doing well during these hard times. Wishing you the best. Take it, Febreze. Have a great day. I miss our coffees in the Indian River River. <laughs> and and Tracy, who would have thought? 45 years ago, you taught me how to smoke pot. Now it's already legal. So I can't wait till you come back to Canada. Thanks for being a great host for all the Thanksgiving festivities each year. Happy birthday. We wish we were there with you. We miss you guys so much. Hopefully we see you guys soon. Thanks for all the creative things you've done for our house and all those Irish Canadian coffees you've given me over the years. Happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs> That's it. We miss you guys. That's it. Party. Cut it.